Hey, and welcome back to the Pokemon Junkies YouTube channel. Today I thought I'd change it up and go through uh, some of the games that we've had over the years uh, we've accumulated. Um, I don't have all of the games that I have uh, here today. I've loaned them out to friends or some of them are being played. Let's start with Pokemon Yellow. This is obviously pretty old, pretty dirty, but uh, this was the first game that uh, my brothers actually got. They got this when it was noon, and this is the actual copy that they had. It was a birthday present um, for my oldest brother, and uh, yeah, it still works. The save is still good, and at the end, once I go through all the ones that I have on hand, I'm actually going to pull out the old Game Boy Advance SP and uh, fire it up and have a look at the uh, the save file. I played this. This isn't the save from when I was a kid, but I haven't played it in several years so we'll have a look at that a little bit later on phenomenal game by the way even to this day phenomenal game and on crystal now the only problem with this one is the battery did run dry i do have to change that maybe i'll make a video of me changing the battery in the future um but yeah pokemon crystal best pokemon game of all time outside yellow and pokemon crystal in my opinion are the two best um i mean you're going back to kanto you can't beat that um for this one obviously you get all the starters um so it doesn't really matter i normally picked uh, charizard or, or uh, squirtle this one totodile almost every time totodile but sometimes cyndaquil not i never pick the grass guys very often um just because they give you a grass guy so early in the game that it really doesn't make a difference but anyway so there you go there and then good old pokemon sapphire phenomenal game um, obviously Emerald's the best. Any definitive edition, um, is the best, but, uh, Sapphire, I liked, uh, Kyogre obviously is very good, Groudon, but, um, yeah, maybe we'll check this one out too on the, uh, on the SP there a little bit, a little bit later on. A couple of these here are, um, are just some, uh, you know, not main series titles, but Pokemon Conquest is my absolute favorite um, non-main series Pokemon. I love this game. I'm going to open it up. I guarantee you it's not in here because I know it's in my DS right now. It is not inside. Um, if you haven't played this game, get this game. It is phenomenal. It's like no, it's um, it's like Nobunaga's Ambition, I believe they're called. Those types of games except with Pokemon, and I, no jokes, if I, if I can find the DS, because I don't know exactly where it is, I put the maximum number of hours into this game, I beat every campaign that's, you know, unlocked once you beat the game and things like that, um, I've beaten every storyline, I've beaten every campaign, I've played through it dozens of times, my brothers love it, phenomenal, phenomenal game, I wish they would make another one, I don't know if it sold that well, I, I didn't look up the statistics, but this is phenomenal. I absolutely love this game. My sister would, I would be, uh, you know, she would, you know, give me a little trouble. Uh, if I didn't mention her favorite uh, non-main series Pokemon, which is Poke Park 2. I love Poke Park. I have them here somewhere. I, I don't know where I, my Wii games are because I, I put the system away somewhere. But, um, you know, obviously Battle Revolution we had on the, on the Wii as well. But uh, Poke Park, Poke Park 2. I like Poke Park 1 more. But uh, yeah, she, she would want me to bring up the fact that Poke Park 2 is her favorite. But this is my favorite and uh, really, really fun game. And I, I would uh, strongly advise anybody that um, doesn't have it or hasn't played it to definitely get, uh, to get a copy and play for yourself. Mystery Dungeon. Another couple games I had when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to them, but uh, that would be... Um, I forgot what they were called. Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team, um, Explorers of Sky, Time, Darkness. Now this, Super Mystery Dungeon, if I remember correctly, I actually did enjoy Super Mystery Dungeon. Um, I got uh, on the, the Switch, I got uh, Mystery Dungeon DX, or XD, I think it's DX. You know, great game, great remake of uh, Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team, but uh, obviously the originals are still, still very good. But uh, yeah, I believe this was pretty fun. Open it up. 
There's the manuals and the, the game cartridge itself. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong. I'm gonna open up the uh, case to infinity as well, just so you guys have a have a view of that. And uh, you know, there's nothing uh, nothing wrong with the mystery dungeon. Obviously, it's uh, it's a good franchise within a franchise, right? It's one of those things that when they drop one, you know, if you don't want to play the main story or the main line uh, Pokemon games, pardon me, you can jump into that and still have a good time, right? And here we go, Pokemon Diamond. I actually bought this from uh, a GameStop long after it was, uh, I think it was um, Sun and Moon was out at the time and they had this in there. Yeah, I, I mean, and Diamond was the best version out of the two. Obviously, Platinum's the, the best out of all three of them, but, you know, Diago's way cooler than Palkia. That's, that's beyond debate at this point. I don't know what happened to my... Pokemon Black 1, or I guess just Pokemon Black, but anyway, Black 2 version, phenomenal game. I love sequels. It's, uh, you know, when they when they make a sequel to a game, it's just amazing to go back. Like, you know, Breath of the Wild was, you know, phenomenal, but Tears of the Kingdom, just because it's going back to the same world with the same characters, you know, just uh, enjoyable. And that's another reason why Pokemon, uh, you know, Gen 2... Uh, crystal, gold, and silver were, were phenomenal because you, you got the same characters coming back. So here is uh, Pokemon Y. Did not like this game. I don't even know if I finished this game, to be honest with you. Um, I'm pretty sure one of my brothers played this copy and beat it because I definitely did not. I don't remember. I don't even think I beat a single gym in this game because this Kalos is... If Kalos is your favorite gen... Congratulations, you know, you, you go right ahead, but I really did not like this. I did not like this gen. This, um, honestly, I think is the is probably the worst um, Pokemon gen just overall. They dropped the idea of Megas immediately, and they never brought it back. So, um, just goes to show you how much they liked it themselves. So, so I'm going to bring these two out now. Um, I actually had three copies of this because... Um, we got one digital copy of Sun, a physical copy, and two physical copies of Moon. But uh, somebody lost their case, so we just got their copy of Moon just hanging out on the inside of there, rattling around. But uh, mine was a digital copy of Sun, so mine's still on the, the DS somewhere. But, you know, people like to hate Sun and Moon. I'll tell you, Sun and Moon, way, way better than uh, X and Y, in my opinion, and regional variants to this day is still the best idea Pokemon's had in, in years, and from my perspective, because you're freshening up pre-existing characters, essentially. You don't have to... You're redesigning characters that already exist. You don't have to think too much, um, and you're not... You know, we're not getting 2,000 new Pokemon and stuff like that. It's just the same Pokemon we have with the redesign. I would actually play a game if they released... If they re-released... The first gen with only regional variants, I would I would buy that. I'd buy a couple copies of that probably. Um, it would be phenomenal. But Sun and Moon, love regional variants. You know, I mean, Alola Muck took me all the way through the Elite Four in that game. So uh, Ultra Sun, I see this. I have reservations about. It's kind of a. I would have preferred them actually do a sequel. Because um, this isn't necessarily a sequel. It's kind of like the same story retold for the most part. Um, you know, I didn't finish this one. Um, but uh, I know that... Um, I know that my brother enjoyed it. But it's... Again, it's more so a parallel... Not a parallel story. But it's more so just a retelling of, of this, essentially. Um, which some people might like. But I, I like the original... Uh, Sun and Moon, personally. Got the classic Omega Ruby right here. Great game. This one has Megas in it as well. Um, but again, you know, not, not the biggest fan. I'm a big fan of the originals. Um, you know, not, not all the time. Obviously, there's some times where the remake is actually better than the original because of, you know, quality uh, improvements and stuff like that. But uh, this... You know, I, I would much rather throw in Ruby or Sapphire or especially Emerald. Let's go Pikachu. 
We have Let's Go Eevee, but my sister has it right now at her house. So, phenomenal game. I don't even know if it's still in here. Yeah, it is. Um, look at the map there with uh, you 2 there where you can find him. Mulch, or, uh, Zapdos there uh, by the uh, power plant. Maltrez on Victory Road. And then Articuno over there at uh, Cinnabar Island. Around Cinnabar Island anyway. And, you know, it shows you where Pokemon are actually found for the most part. Obviously, you're not getting a, you're not getting a Dragonite over there. But, you know, your Diglett Tunnel has Diglett in it, stuff like that. So, there it is right there. So, you know, really nice inside artwork there. Phenomenal game. Um, this is a better remake than this is, in my opinion. Um, maybe because it's on the Switch. Um, I liked Pokemon following me. I liked... Uh, Pokemon flying around and catching, uh, you know, catching X amount to get the shinies and stuff. Um, really, really a good game. Really a good game. Uh, yeah, shield here. Sword. My sister also has that. Um, it was okay. Wasn't, uh, I think that's the game that's being, yeah, somebody's playing that right now as we speak. Um, but yeah, there it is. Not, uh, it wasn't bad. I liked the, uh, was it Appleton? I liked him. He was my favorite from this gen. Um, but, I mean, it was just kind of, it made me feel similarly to, to X and Y. I know it was the first 3D and you're going around, open world, whatever, not the first 3D, but the first open world, you know, wasn't a huge fan. Wasn't a huge fan of that. I waited so long for this game to be released. It is incredible. Pokemon Snap, the original Pokemon Snap, um, we got by mistake because uh, we sent, uh, you know, one of our parents were going to go to the store and they were, they were buying the, the 360 or the 360. Geez, Louise, that's a, that's, I'm living in a different world. They were buying the N64 and, uh, you know, one of my brothers said, get Pokemon Stadium. And they came back with Pokemon Snap. And uh, we were obviously disappointed. But, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't complain. You just play. So played it. Loved it. Uh, you know, I can beat it in less than an hour now um, easily. Um, and it's phenomenal. But this, I was not expecting this. I was saying they should have done this with the Wii U. They should have made this game. Because... This was a missed opportunity. They should make a sequel to this, to be honest. Because I, I don't know what this sold, but everybody I know has this game. Because everybody was waiting for this forever, you know. And uh, it was actually pretty good. I, I, I mean, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best. Um, the original is obviously better, you know, Todd, you know. But, I mean, it was pretty good. I'm not going to sit here and say it wasn't good. I enjoyed it. I still pop it in from time to time and play it. This game. This is the best Pokemon game. Um, probably in the last 10 years. In my opinion. This this should be a main series Pokemon game. They should make every Pokemon like this. Phenomenal. The regional variants were great. Um you know the the the, the storyline obviously was wasn't you know the best but i don't know if you haven't played this game play this game get it however borrow it this is phenomenal phenomenal i got so enthralled in this game that i used you know no jokes we were taking turns on who could play it at what time because we only had the one copy and we only got the one switch so um, this was phenomenal, phenomenal game. Um, no complaints at all from this other than the fact I wish it was longer, to be honest, but the, especially the ending when you're up there, uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the, uh, the twist phenomenal, phenomenal. I got, actually, I caught every single alpha Pokemon in every single area outside of the, uh, those dimensional portals or whatever. I haven't played in a little while. I can't remember what they're called time space distortions or something like that but uh the 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 uh the stationary ones on the map night and day i caught every single one in every single map phenomenal game voltorb uh 
Hisui and Voltor, you know, phenomenal. And then uh, these two, the most recent ones, you know, I'm I, like they're better than uh, Sword and Shield, but uh, yeah, I don't know about these um, about these like future and past Pokemon and stuff like that. Not, not really. Uh, that's an area I wouldn't have pursued personally, but. It is what it is. There's nothing uh, wrong with them. They're fun. I, this is the one I played, Pokemon Violet. Um, my sister had, I believe it was this one for quite some time. We just recently got it. I'm surprised the disc is or the uh, cartridge is actually in there. But uh, yeah, I mean these are these are both fun. Um, I think they're called Paradox Pokemon or something like that. But they're fun. Um, but they, you know, it's nothing. Nothing special in my opinion. Okay, so give it the old, the old college try there. A couple blows, and let's see if it'll work the first time. Put the backlight on. Yep. Is she gonna work? She is not gonna work. Let's give her another try. Sometimes you gotta blow it a few times before she uh, starts working. all we have for you today if you enjoyed it consider subscribing leaving a comment liking and uh i'm gonna do some some gameplay of some of these in the future um hopefully you guys will enjoy it i'm gonna go through these two books as well one of these is um uh i've had for quite a few years so that'll be in another video but 
This is a little bit longer one today. If you're still with me, uh, hope you enjoyed yourself and have a great day. Bye.